What's going on guys? Black Sky Survival. And because we have not done a proper video on our field titanium compass, I thought we should do that because we spent a lot of time developing this and I kind of want to just go over the features of it other than it just being a compass that you put on your watch band. Because there's a lot of thought that went into this and I kind of wanted you guys to understand why we designed it the way we did. These are watch band compasses. You know, over the years I've used many different styles, plastic ones, soon to, um, soon to, or whatever you call it. Another company that makes a titanium one as well that was just too big and bulky, had a rubber gasket, glow in the dark gasket, which made it very thick. Big case, kind of overwhelmed the watch. And I didn't, I wanted the compass to be a tool, not a fashion accessory. So we slimmed ours down, made it from titanium, very durable, made some unique features to aid in protecting the compass. Okay, because you know, plastic ones can break, titanium is very sturdy, um, lightweight. And you notice ours is slimmed down, so it's not overwhelming, like it's not larger. It doesn't sit higher than the watch, where the other brand that I'm referencing does, and much wider. Ours is slimmed down, it has a 20, millimeter button compass oil filled button compass that is uh water you can you can take it scuba diving down to 100 feet i think it's 100, 100 no 100 meters sorry so let me show you the inside of the compass so you see there's a little rim inside that actually fits the 20 20 millimeter compass if you notice compasses are made with a split so it's two pieces of plastic placed together glued together a lot of time air bubbles will develop in compasses because of the pressure here. When you have like the other guy's compass, other company's compass, when you push it down, it opens and gives pressure against the case. What we decided to do is just have that down and it only attaches to the bottom part of the compass here, the button compass. So it's a friction fit, so you push it in. So even without the bezel, your compass is not coming out. Like there's no way to get it out unless you I'll show you how to get it out if you need to replace the compass. So now the bezel screws in and you can screw it in mostly by hand. So once you get it screwed in as much as you can by hand, you can take a paper clip. These two little indentions here is for that. I, I chose uh, something like a paper clip because it's something everybody has. You don't have to buy a special tool and you see it's flush. So now what this does, this bezel here, pushes down on the case. So essentially what you have is the case being pushed together. So even if the glue starts to lose, you know, its strength, this should keep your compass from developing bubbles. It also is a guard to protect the compass in case it gets hit. So it doesn't get bubbles. But let's say you do get a bubble because some compasses do get bubbles. All you're going to do is remove this, take a paper clip and unscrew it. Right. Then you'll take something like a knife, just be very careful, and place it in between the case and the compass. And I would never do this unless it was time to replace the compass because you don't want to put any kind of pressure on the case unnecessarily, right? And you can do this and get your compass out. And then put a new one in and just follow that instruction. Just push it in, friction fit it. Like I said, the compass will not come out even if you don't have the bezel in. And then just screw in the bezel. So the compass is designed for a 20 to 22 millimeter NATO strap. You can see this is, both of these are 20 millimeter. Here's a 20 millimeter. And so the compass will go on a 20 millimeter very easily. Have to be a NATO strap. Now on your wrist, it's not going to move. So if you wanna wear it just with a NATO strap, like you don't have a watch and you just wanna have a compass in your wrist, you can do that. You can just buy a 20 millimeter NATO strap and it'll work. It is a little loose on there. And what I do is I just put a rubber band in there, a flat rubber band, hold it in place. I don't even know this rubber band there, but this is a 22 millimeter NATO strap. So you can see it's larger. And what you'll do is just feed it through and pull it on. And just pull it onto the strap, which you can see there fits very well, low profile case. Let's say you have a watch that the compass will not fit, but you want to have a compass on there. How can we do that? We'll take a small piece of, uh, this is a type three paracord. And what I'll do is basically feed it through 
and feed the compass on where I want it to be. And so I have the loop there and then I'll just tie a square knot. in the back. And then what I'll do is just cut the excess. So you see, I cut the excess, now I have this compass on a Garmin. And now wear it on with a watch that it doesn't necessarily fit the strap. And it's good and tight, no issues. The other thing is you can also run this if you don't have a watch, you don't wear a watch, you wanna have a good high quality compass, you can rig this around your neck. You can rig it to a pack. Uh, put it through a strap you can take a nato and rig it through your plate carrier or something and have your compass there so you can have a compass without having to wear a watch as well or rig it around with 550 cord gutted 550 cord and wear it around your neck like a neck compass and you'll have a high quality compass again it's made for 20 to 22 millimeter nato straps however you can rig it like this for larger uh, straps that doesn't fit and also obviously you can wear it as a standalone compass now this has a great luminescent. You can see, you know, it glows very well. So that way you can not navigate at night. But anyhow, guys, I want to do a dedicated video of this because we have not, and I wanted to kind of show some examples and basically show the kind of idea that we built this to protect the compass. You know, it's a critical navigation tool. And if you have to get down to, you know, navigating with just your wrist compass, we want you to be able to trust it. Anyhow guys, check out the link below, go pick yours up. And as always, thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.